So on the default character body 3D in Godot, there's no stair handling. So if you try to run upstairs, you're just gonna run into all the edges of them. And running down them, you'll just fly off the top of the stairs. You can solve this just by making your stairs collision body a ramp and just have them visually as stairs. That's one way of doing it. Um, and a lot of games do that. If you do want stairs, however, uh, you'll have to implement some logic for actually allowing your character to smoothly glide up and down stairs. For my character controller, I just used uh, Legion Games tutorial on his juiced up first person character controller. Um, and I really like this character controller. It's very simple and uh, feels really nice moving around with the FOV change and the head bob and stuff. Um, so I will link to this tutorial in the description if you want to use it as well. So the logic for running up the stairs is actually a little bit more messy than running down the stairs. So I'm going to show the code for running down the stairs first. So for the logic for running down the stairs, uh, Physics Server 3D has actually got us covered. There's a really convenient method accessible from here. This is a singleton that is exposed for all nodes to be able to use within a scene. Um, and it gives us access to the underlying uh, 3D physics server in Godot. It has a really convenient method, body test motion. It takes three parameters, the body itself, or an RID, which you can get really easily with dot get underscore RID method on any physics object. And it takes a parameters object and a result object. So what this function does is exactly how it's named. It allows us to test the motion of a body uh, without actually moving it. So we can, it returns true if a collision would occur for moving an object um, along a given vector. So what we're going to use it for is the frame after the character body leaves the floor. So it kind of shoots off the stairs as the current behavior we can run a check, we can shoot down, it's kind of like a ray cast, but it's for the entire body. We shoot down the body and it will give us the exact point that it collided upon. So it might be here, or maybe it'll perfectly have us colliding with this bottom stair and we can get the exact point at which it uh, collided with the next stair we're stepping down onto. And in the second parameter, the physics test motion parameters, we're going to set the from property, which is just going to be the global transform of the body we're testing, and then the motion of that body, which is going to be, I have mine, it's going to be set at negative 0.5 because the maximum height that I want the player to be able to step down the stairs is negative 0.5. So for the going down the stairs functionality, I'm going to add this function snap down to stairs check to my character controller script. And we're gonna call it right after the move and slide function. Um, so we want it to snap down to the stair, like after, right after we shoot off the top of the stairs, we'll wanna call this snap down to stairs check function. So directly after any movement happens and before it's actually rendered after the velocity is processed and removed to the new location shooting off the top of the stairs. We'll call this function and it's going to do its job to snap us down to the proper place. So setting up the logic of this function, there's going to be a variable keeping track of whether we're on the floor, the last frame. And we're only going to want to execute this logic in that case. Uh, so we're just basically trying to detect here when we we're on a stair the prior frame and when we we're walking down the stairs. So we only want to do it when we're falling in the air, when we're not on the floor and our velocity is less than or equal to zero. And we're only going to call it uh, when we're on the floor of the prior frame. Uh, the reason for this is like if, for instance, you jumped, uh, this logic would, would get called. We don't want to get called like when we're falling from a jump only like right the frame after we fly off the top stair so we can start setting up the variables for 
the physics server 3d body test motion call you need a physics test motion result and I'll have the code in the description and copy paste I'm just gonna explain it here and then a motion parameters and for the motion parameters we're just gonna set the from to the body's current position or current transform rotation position and everything and then the motion is just going to be the whatever height you want it to be stepping down to I just want negative 0.5 was a good height I found to use and then we can actually call the body test motion function with the RID of the current body the character body 3d the parameters we set up and then the test result which we'll be getting some information back in that's going to be useful in a sec here so the body test result is going to have a very convenient uh, method we can use which is get travel and if you read the documentation you'll see that this returns the moving objects travel before a collision so that's going to get us the exact position right before it collided um, so in other words this will be a safe uh, a safe position where the character body was not going to be colliding in anything so if we teleport the body by this amount it's not going to get stuck on anything so if we found a collision at the maximum step height down then we can translate ourself down to the position right before the top of the step and that'll keep us glued to the top of the stairs and then also you'll need to call apply force floor snap to uh, I think this prevents bouncing off of the stairs for my testing and so this almost works you'll see it does snap down to the first stair if you look closely uh, but we actually need some slight modification to the code to get it fully working so the reason this isn't going to work is that we're not always going to be on the floor after apply to floor snap, apply floor snap. Um, there, there is a, a pretty common case where we're right on the edge of the stair and snapping it down just results in us kind of um, gliding across the edges of the stairs. So the character body will be in contact with the corner of the stair but no actual floor so we won't be on the floor in that case to fix this uh, we can add a variable as to whether we snapped onto the stairs the prior frame so I'll add a that variable and I add a variable in the function did snap and then I will set it to true if we do snap and then I will set that variable um, to the result and then what we can do is check if we snap to these stairs the prior frame and we can just count that as being on the floor so just put these in parentheses because I want them these are both basically the same it's this is going to be whether it counts as being on the floor or not so whether we're on the floor or last frame or whether we snap to the floor or last frame basically the same thing uh, and so with that I think should work Boom. Correctly going down the stairs. So that is pretty nice. It's pretty smooth and it's a pretty simple piece of code. It's pretty elegant. Um, there is a small bug in it currently um, and I'll show you right now. So if you notice when you walk off an edge it's actually going to count that as kind of a stair. Um, because we we were on the floor the prior frame um, so it's and it detects a collision with the capsule uh, even though there's no stair there we're actually I will I'll show in Godot but even though there isn't a stair at this position what will happen is if we're if the capsule if the very bottom of the capsule is in contact with the very edge of the floor that'll still count as being on the floor but as soon as this is my I don't actually know the underlying uh, 
how the physics works, but I'm assuming this is what happens. Um, as soon as you fly off the floor, this is going to count as not being in the floor, so it'll shoot a body test motion down, and it's actually going to come in contact with, even, even though this part of the capsule is not on the floor, the body test motion will come in contact with the edge of the uh, roof or ceiling or whatever you're flying off of, and it's going to count that as a stair that we should snap down onto. So the way I fix this in my character controller is just adding a ray cast straight downward. And I'm going to set it slightly larger than my maximum. Oops, I made it positive. I'm going to set that slightly larger than the maximum height that I want to step down. Um, I don't know if that's necessary. Maybe it's not. I'm actually not going to do that. I'm going to set it the exact same. But this is just going to allow us to check if there is a stair to snap down to. Um, or if we're just walking off the edge into nothingness. Um, and it's going to be shooting the ray from that perfect center point of the capsule. Um, so we're going to know if we are in the case of flying off something and then there's a stair right there or if we fly off a ceiling and there's just nothingness below us. Um, and we can reference, I'm going to name this ray, oops, stairs below raycast 3D. And then we can just add that as an additional check in our function of whether to snap down to stairs. Uh, is colliding. And with that, uh, the code for walking down the stairs is complete. So you can see with that, we're no longer getting caught on this edge here. It's no longer uh, teleporting us down thinking it's a stair but we can still walk down these stairs just fine. We're going to walk down here and everything still works perfectly. Notice this also works going down the stairs backwards. So for walking up the stairs there's another convenient thing we can use in Godot separation ray shape 3D and we can actually get this working really quickly just by adding another collision shape to our player. If we add a separation ray shape, um, you'll see this is a ray. You can see the end of it is the red dot. And we'll just set the length to whatever height uh, we want to be able to go upstairs. So mine's 0 0.5. And then I'm going to move it up to exactly the same height. So it's going to be aligned with the floor height. And I'm going to move it very slightly in front of my capsule. And just with that, you'll be able to see we are able to walk up the stairs. And yeah, we're getting some pretty good behavior already um, with very little work. So unfortunately, the separation ray 3d shape is not ideal in all cases um, for one we can no longer walk down the stairs backwards we just fly off them um, that is I think because we're like floating off the stairs too far so yeah I just added a little visual notifier mesh to show what's happening and then there's also some pretty unideal cases of now we can just walk up walls. Um, our character body 3D's uh, max floor angle is no longer respected um, because this ray just tries to separate us from whatever it is uh, placed into uh, except walls because it would be inside the object. 
And finally, we also cannot walk up the stairs backwards because the ray is only in front of us. So we can tackle the not being able to walk uh, upstairs backwards and no longer being able to walk down the stairs backwards uh, pretty easily. We can do that by rotating the ray uh, towards the direction we're running. So to do this, I just get the distance away from the center. In my case, that's the Z position. Um, you could also grab like the length of the X and Z vectors to do this, but mine's only in front of me, so this works fine. Um, and then I get the velocity of the character body object only in the X and Z directions. I just mute the Y axis and set it to zero. And then from that, we can get the proper ray pose to uh, by multiplying the velocity in the x and z direction by the uh, initial distance of the ray from the center. And that'll just spin the ray around in whatever direction or velocity is. And then I'm just setting the global position here. Uh, it's a little bit cleaner than doing the regular position because as we rotate, the position is not going to be relative to the global position anymore, um, and it wouldn't be at the correct position, if that makes sense. But um, the global position is always going to be aligned with the velocity, or it should be unless... Uh, I think it should be unless maybe it's a child of a node which is rotated but just with this uh, I also renamed the ray because we're about to have three of them in a moment I just renamed this to step up separation ray underscore f for forward uh, but with this code um, you'll see that it doesn't work at all you will see that it does not work because I didn't call the function. Um, now, for this one, we also have to call the function before... I'm calling it before move and slide uh, because I want the rays to be moved into the correct position before any collision code is called. And... Yeah, so you'll see that now it moves towards the velocity we're moving towards. We can walk up the stairs. We can still walk down them now. We can walk any direction we want. Um, so that solves one of the problems. But we still have this one. Um, we can still walk up walls as well. Um, so the easiest one to solve is this one. So I'll show you this. And basically we're just going to make three of these. Just duplicate it three times. Uh, one called underscore L for left, underscore R for right. And now we can add in very similar logic uh, to our forward array. And so we're going to use the same ray position, but we're just going to rotate it um, to the left 50 degrees. So negative 50 around the y axis. And then we just set the global position the same way. And same thing for the other one. And then you'll no longer have the issue of not being able to run up the stairs diagonally or like off center. I'm also adding one more variable, uh, last xz velocity. Um, and I'm just keeping track of if the velocity goes below uh, a certain threshold, a very low velocity. And then I just use the last xz velocity because I was noticing some glitchiness when the speed gets really slow trying to get a normalized vector off of that sometimes it would glitch um, so and this also protects like against if you jump the lip will still be in the same place as before you jumped or the little separation rays will stay in the same place
And now we have one more thing to solve, and that is we're able to just walk up walls or walk up slopes that are steeper than the max floor angle that we set in the character body 3D that's no longer respected with this. Um, so I will show how I solve that. So for that, what I decided to do was add Raycast 3Ds on the same collision objects that were rotating around. Um, and I just have them set up to the almost the exact same position as their separation rays. Uh, I do have them very slightly longer, uh, just peeking out a very small amount. Um, I just found that to be less glitchy. Um, I was I had them like the exact same length, and it was uh, giving me some very minor uh, glitches in some cases. So I have mine set to like very slightly longer. And then, oops. and then I'm just adding the same Raycast 3D to all the step up separation rays. And now one thing you can do is disable the Raycast because um, we are going to use the function force Raycast update. Um, and disable them. It's not going to make any any real difference, but uh, it might save a small amount of uh, performance cost. Um, so the reason I'm calling Force Raycast Update is because we're going to be changing their position, and ordinarily that wouldn't update till the next frame. So after we move the separation rays, we're going to call update on each of the corresponding raycasts. And now I'm going to add this line, uh, setting a variable to the max slope angle dot product. And in character body 3Ds in Godot, you can set the max uh, floor angle that you're able to walk on, or when it's considered still a floor rather than a wall. And that's this property in the character body 3D object. So I'm getting that angle, and then I'm rotating the up vector by that angle, uh, just tilting it on the x-axis. Could be the z-axis too. Uh, I don't think it matters, but we get that vector rotated, and then we do a dot product of it with straight up, and that will give us basically a threshold we can check against because the dot product gives us how aligned two vectors are. Um, so we can check the angle of the floor uh, which we'll be able to get from the Raycast 3D anytime it collides it's going to give us a collision normal and we can check that collision normal against um, the, the normal of yeah, this will give us the normal of the or the maximum uh, angle floor normal dot product with the up factor hope that makes sense I'm not good at explaining this um, and that will give us a threshold that we can check against. So anything below this will be further away from up than the max floor angle is from up, which means it's steeper than we're allowed to walk on. So I'm just going to do a check for whether the Raycast 3D is colliding. And then if it is colliding, we're going to get the collision normal. And then do a dot product with the up vector again and then if it's less than this dot product then that would mean it's something that is too steep to walk on and then we can do the exact same thing for all the other separation rays L R and and then we can add Get out of here, Microsoft. And then we can add these three lines just to disable the uh, separation rate collision shape if the hill we were on is too steep. And that should mostly work. All right, so now you can no longer just walk up walls because uh, the separation shapes are getting disabled when we're trying to walk up something very steep. 
still walk upstairs and everything just fine. And everything pretty much works. Um, now there is one more problem with this. And I will enable this little debug thing I had going. So I have a variable I have, is on floor being logged at the top left. And I don't know if this is a bug in Godot or if it's just uh, my mesh is weird, but something I did find was on smooth floors like this, the separation ray shape uh, was causing me to get inconsistent, like fluctuating values for is on floor. And the main problem with that is like, I wasn't able to consistently jump. Like I keep pressing jump and it's only working about half the time on this floor here. Um, and the way I handled that was I just added coyote timing for the jump. So I added a small grace period for uh, what frame or how long you're able to jump a jump after leaving the floor. And in my code where I handle the jump, and this isn't the most clean way to do it. Ideally, that just wouldn't happen. And I feel like that might be a bug in Godot. I'm not totally sure, but... Um, and it might even be just my mesh is messed up. I'm not 100% sure, but uh, this worked for me. So... So I'm just keeping track of the last frame number on the floor and then I can just add is on floor. We can make that is on floor or um, the current frame minus the last frame where on the floor is less than or equal to the jump frame grace. And now should work fine. So yeah, it's fluctuating, but I'm still able to jump fine because I have a small grace period. And this might also help some bugginess um, with being able to jump while you're on the steps. Um, I know I was having some slight issues because, yeah, there's moments where you're on like a lip of the step and you haven't fully got down to the lower step for like one frame. And that wouldn't be considered being on the floor. I mean, this works for pretty much all cases there's some weird edge cases where it doesn't work and it's not totally perfect but uh, this is what I used and works pretty much fine you can see in, in some cases you get some slight jitter like pressing into a wall and stuff slight jitter sometimes um, so it's not entirely perfect but this is what I used and works pretty well for me and hopefully this helps somebody thank you